Hello everyone, welcome to our programming library. In this tutorial, uh, I'm going to talk about Swift function in R. The Swift function is used especially in metrics for performing different operations on its rows and columns. The syntax for the function is given here. The first argument here is the matrix. Uh, the second argument um, margin here represents either uh, we want to uh, have operation on rows or columns. If you want to have rows, then the value for margin is 1. And if you want to um, um, operate on columns, then the value for this margin should be 2. And the states here represents the values that are provided for operations to the matrix rows and columns that we have chosen in the second argument. And the fourth argument here is the function, uh, which represents the operation that we want to do to uh, the rows and columns that we have chosen. And, and there are other arguments like check dot margin equals to true, which comes by default. And basically, we need uh, these four arguments uh, to offer this function sweep. Uh, so let's see some examples. We have a matrix X here. Uh, it is a 3 by 5 um, uh, matrix. And uh, let's use the sweep function here for rows of the matrix. So the first argument here is the matrix X. The second one is uh, the row. Uh, that's why we, uh, the value is 1 here. And these are the values we want to provide. We have three rows. So uh, the values uh, which we are going to provide uh, are also three. So this is for first row, this is for second row, and this is for third row. And what we want to do uh, with these values? OK, so we want to add these values to each of the rows. So let's see that. OK, so you can see here, in first rows, uh, for each of the elements, uh, 5 uh, is added. Uh, so 1 plus 5, 6, 2 plus 5, 7, 3 plus 5, 8, 4 plus 5, 9, and so on. Similarly, for second rows, uh, this 6 is added uh, to each of the num each of the elements. And uh, similarly, the case for third row. Okay, in this case, uh, now we want to uh, take the columns and uh, uh, we have a values from 5 to 9 and we want to subtract these values from each of the columns. So let's use the Swift function to do that. Okay, so you can see here from each of the columns, um, uh, the respective values have been subtracted. For example, from the first column, from this first column, 5 is subtracted. From the second column, 6 is subtracted. From third column, 7, uh, and for, from the fourth column, 8, and from the fifth column, 9 is subtracted, and uh, this is the resultant matrix. Um, uh, let's uh, use a sweep function uh, in a little bit complex way. So here uh, we have the same matrix, and we want to operate on the rows. And this is the values that we want to operate on the rows. So these values are actually um, um, coming from this app, uh, using the apply function on the same matrix M. So uh, we want to calculate the mean of the rows of matrix X and uh, use these values to the rows of the matrix X again using this switch function. And what we want to do, we want to multiply these values uh, with uh, its values of the uh, rows of matrix M. So let's uh, use that, uh, use that sweep function to uh, perform this operation. And you can see um, here uh, the result. We can now. Uh, we can use that in a little bit different way also. Uh, so in this example, I have first of all calculated the um, column means uh, for matrix X here, uh, with uh, 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 which are represented by a variable dy. And now we can use these values, which are in the variable dy, uh, to the columns of the matrix X, uh, such that we want to add these values to each of the columns. So let's 
uh, let's use the sweep function in this case and uh, this is our result so basically um, we are calculating the column sums uh, from this function and we are adding these values to each of the columns of the matrix x so that's all about um, using swift function uh, thank you very much for watching and i'll i'll see you guys in the next tutorial